will not go unjustice. That's right. It will not go unnoticed, especially for the future. You just heard from the mother of one of Alton Sterling's children. Cell phone video of Sterling's arrest that ended in a deadly shooting is spurring protests in Baton Rouge. Police say they were trying to restrain him when they believe he was believed to have a gun. The community is outraged and the man's family says he did not deserve to die. Polo Sandoval reports. Hundreds of protesters taking to the streets in Baton Rouge after this graphic video circulated on social media of a deadly encounter between police and a man at a convenience store. According to police, two officers responded to an anonymous call just after midnight on Tuesday. The caller said a man selling CDs outside of this store threatened him with a gun. The officers attempted to subdue 37-year-old Alton Sterling. The store owner says that one officer used a taser, but Sterling remained on his feet. Sterling is then tackled by an officer over the hood of a car. As officers wrestle to restrain Sterling, someone yells. Sterling was then shot several times at point blank range. I was actually maybe two, three feet away when it happened. The store owner says while Sterling lay in the parking lot, he saw officers pull a gun from his pocket. Sterling's family now demanding answers. I really want to know more about what happened, about the whole situation, because my brother didn't deserve it. He didn't deserve it at all. CNN affiliate WAFB reports that the officers in question were wearing body cameras, but they apparently fell off in the altercation. Baton Rouge police have placed the officers on administrative leave. This is an ongoing investigation. Uh, we're going to review the video. We're going to review the audio. Uh, we have witnesses, non-biased witnesses here. We're going to bring them down uh, to our station and interview them. The coroner ruling that Sterling died of multiple gunshot wounds to the chest and back. God bless his soul. It could have been handled differently, much differently. But on both sides, it could have been handled differently.